highly treasured by caretakers of these kennels. Jumbo is a nine-year-old German Shepherd breed and a parent dog here. With him, Alex Nkwanga, an entrepreneur who pioneered dog breeding as a business in Uganda over a decade ago. I drove the idea from uh, having a passion for the dogs because I have grown up with dogs. My parents grew up with dogs, so I drove the passion from there. I dreamt to breed dogs and become the world's giant in breeding of dogs. From a single dog bought at $200, Nkwanga's enterprise is now worth many thousands of dollars. This is the country's biggest dog firm with more than 400 dogs of 14 breeds. The cost of a two-month-old puppy is at least $200 and rising. Today, the value has gone up because people have come to appreciate that the dogs do much, much more than what they expected. In terms of guarding, in terms of understanding, in terms of communication. So the value has really gone up. And I believe in the years to come, the value is still growing. Nkwanga says he runs his breeding business because he loves watching the family lines of dogs grow. But he has also managed to provide employment opportunities for a number of young people. The money he has made from dogs has also allowed Nkwanga to expand his horizons, now employing over 200 guards in his private security company. And he can have high hopes for the future. There's no small business that will continue remaining small unless the market is not growing. And the more you develop the market with different products, because you might have dogs that are more expensive for certain class of people, you can develop others which can fit another class of entrepreneurs or uh, inter uh, of, of customers. And with that, businesses can always survive and grow. A growing middle class in East Africa continues to present investment opportunities related to changing lifestyles and spending cultures. Man's best friend looks set to play its part in Uganda. Leon Senyange, CCTV, Kampala.